What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. Today we have Kyle Klein's new release, the Cosmic Fury 2, the Metal Flake Lumen Logic. And Luke and I are going to be doing a nine hole challenge with it. So let's do it. Hole one out here at Yahula Creek Park. Uh, if you don't know anything about the Cosmic Fury 2, it is a putter, and I don't know the numbers on it. Luke will display the numbers for it right here. <laughs> oh. And uh, it's perfect for this first hole at Yahula. So let's do it. Ignore all the other discs down there. Oh, just ace. Oh. It's perfect. I have gotten to throw this a little bit, and I think it's my favorite hand feel on a throwing putter ever. That is not an exaggeration. It's not too shallow. It's not too deep. It's not too gummy. It's not too stiff. It looks incredible, uh, but the hand feel on this is something else. It makes me want to switch to just putting with logics. And it's so straight. I needed a little more hyzer on it's that, so but it's straight. so straight. That's awesome. All right. Time to decide if I'm going to switch to logics. <laughs> oh, just left. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> little low. It does, the, the depth of it is really nice. I putt with P2s right now. And I think with a base plastic logic, I would actually love it. I've never tried putting with logics. Nice birdie. All right, we have hole two, 236 feet. Kind of uphill. Kind of a lot of obstacles. I usually throw a forehand here. But we're going to see if the logic can make me just better at disc golf. It can. Oh, that tree is I also literally shot, think that perfect. I... You probably couldn't hear it on the camera, but it just barely touched the bark of this tree. It went... <laughs> it kissed it. Not enough to affect the flight, but I definitely touched the tree. <laughs> Some of the atoms of the Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. That's a little bit short and a little bit left. Tully, stay. Tully with the Raz. Yeah. No. Oh! Just right. Just right. <laughs> Oh, tough putting. Tough putting I mean, day. that just dropped right out of the sky. It is super windy. Hole maybe, number maybe three. Less. 270. Deceptively, it looks downhill. It's downhill and then uphill again. This is closer to 300, maybe 275, 280, but see how much it's a good test for the little bit of distance on this guy. I threw it low, but again, so straight. Oh, good, good skip, skip at the forward. end. You could Not be bad. On the green. Might be in the circle. On the green? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try a little Anheuser on it. Though there's a little bit of a tailwind. Well, there was. It just stopped. But there's a little bit of a tailwind. I think maybe I can get it to pan out at the end. Tiny bit. Nice. Roll out of there. Okay, well, that should be like 20 feet obstructed. <laughs> Pretty good result, if you're a good putter. Which I am oh! not. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I mean, Reed is in the thick of it. I have to perform a mega straddle over this guy right here, because while he may be dead, he is not unattached. <laughs> so, I'm going to give it a floater. Oh, yeah. Good putt. Let's go. I bet, yeah, this is basically our baseball field hole. Yeah, this is our baseball field hole, except for it's a basketball court, which is OB. Uh, but the basket is straight through the court. There's also, I don't think it's OB. There's like mud, not necessarily water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's mud. There's mud on the hole. Oh, bad. I've been low releasing this whole time. That's... I literally panned straight this way thinking you were throwing the hyzer. <laughs> I normally throw forehand on this hole, so I'm going to try the backhand, but I've always been bad at it. We're going over the top. Oh, 
I think that's short. That's in the aforementioned mud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we were inbounds. That was a rough uh, cage hit there. Inbounds, the 100 foot throw in. But this is what the disc is made for, right? Just that little. Oh, wow. <laughs> that little guy. The execution. We're going to take casual relief straight back from the basket. Whoop, to right there. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh we had full commitment. Couldn't make it happen. Couple of pars, no problem. Hole six, 300 feet. OB left, surrounded by water. So let's not do that. I'm gonna just try to pump this as hard as I can and let it fade into the basket. Oh, I threw it low, right into the mud. I didn't even see it. Literally, I put it right where I threw it for the previous hole. Oh <laughs> no, a little over 300, kind of a boost for me with the Cosmic Fury, but we're gonna try. Oh, it's gonna need to land so softly. Land Tell soft. <laughs> Dang it. That's OB. Oh, jeez, it's muddy again. Okay. All right, ready? In the mud Just again. Just gonna try to get this up and down here. Curl, baby. Okay, that's fine. Some people would say creek and beyond is OB. Some people would say surrounded by water is OB. We're gonna say surrounded by water today, and I'm gonna probably just lay this up because I don't want it to go past the basket. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> 280 feet on this one. It looks farther than the last one though. So that's confusing. Maybe it's just not super accurate, but. It's that short basket. We're fine. See, too. try and get a good straight flight again. Oh, that could do it. Woo! Short. Good shot. So straight. So straight. So I love straight. it. <laughs> so straight. Went the Anheuser route. And it does fade. It comes out yeah. of the Anheuser. Yeah, it does. That is crazy. It's, it's pretty overstable. I mean, I'm not throwing it super hard. I don't have that kind of power, but <laughs> it comes out. Just outside the circle. So we might try and maybe we'll have a little better luck if we try and step it home. Oh no, also just left. All right, here we go. Good putt. There it is. Need the day Anheuser. I should have thrown in a little bit. It's the Anheuser. I'm really working on my underhanded putts here. Nice. That's insane. Hole eight, 330. This is the longest hole we've played yet. And we're really gonna put this thing to the test on this one. We're putting it on huge Anheuser and letting it turn all the way down and see how it handles that. I don't think it's gonna turn and burn. I think it will kind of bite out maybe at the end or at least just hold it the whole way. But let's see. Whoa. Yeah, I held it the whole way and kind of fights out at the end. I mean, that's the best result I could ask for with a putter. That is really the only play. <laughs> Throwing this on Heiser the whole way is going to get there. There's a guy Especially walking. Especially since he had to challenge the fence. Yeah. It's, like, it's a tough play. Oh, he said go ahead. I'm throwing a putter, dude. This is <laughs> not even going to make it there. I needed a little more Anheuser than that. But that is a good play for par. Kind of a safe run here, I feel like. Into the downhill green. Oh, yeah. a little, Good bit. little low, I guess. I didn't even see it. <laughs> You're a little long, little low. Gotcha. All right. I take this on a normal day of league out here. So this is a pretty <laughs> good result. I'm gonna give it a soft bid. Oh, I shorted it. Shorted ah, it. I loved it and I shorted it. There you go. <laughs> Well, it happens that fast. Hole nine out here, but the eighth hole of our challenge. And we got two to play. And I think I'm winning, but the real winners are you Cosmic Fury 2 owners. Because these things are sick. 
And it's perfect for this hole. I'm gonna throw a flex line. Now there's a mando right there on that tree, so we gotta go left of that. I'm gonna throw it on a flex and probably ace it, cause like, yeah. Oh, we Ooh. hit a tree. Oh, I was loving that. This is a bummer hole to have a mando on for the back end. I think I'm gonna try like a sneaky route, sort of more inside. Looking at this on camera, I feel like we're at the beast right now. I know, there's so many trees, but we're just gonna try and sneak it through here. Oh, that branch was bad. All right. All right, here's time for Luke's signature long putt of the day. <laughs> There it oh, is. Oh, it's a little left. Really good height. Little I left. believe. <laughs> I believe. This is my time to shine. This is your time to shine. Oh! Oh, so a little left. I believed. <laughs> All right. This is going to be our final hole of the challenge. Straight down the pipe. Really just don't want to hit those trees. Over a little over 300 feet, I guess. Yeah, it's a little, it's like 300, but downhill. But downhill a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's so Is straight. It perfect? <laughs> it's it's perfect. a little short, but. That might be as good as it gets. That's as good as it gets with, for me and the Cosmic Fury. Maybe a little Anheuser, like touch of. Touch of. <laughs> touch of Anheuser, that's like a paint color. <laughs> <laughs> Miss him. Miss him. Yeah. That's great. I'm short of you though, but pretty good. All right. Little Anheuser putt here. Nothing we haven't seen before. <laughs> Tallulah has a Tallulah Raz. Nothing we haven't seen before. <laughs> oh, it fell out of the sky. I really needed you to make that. All right. For the bread. Let's make one putt today. Nope, short. Buddy. I have been practicing putting a lot. I miss a lot of putts, but they're way closer than they used to be. <laughs> like, I've been hitting a lot of metal today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Genuinely, I think this is my favorite throwing putter ever. Like, three speed throwing putter. I used to be a big Envy guy through the Thought Space Praxis. Those are great. This for me, is the perfect stability where I can throw it flat. It's like a little bit overstable. So I can throw it flat and it's just gonna fly flat. It's awesome. Uh, but it has enough stability where you can pan it on some Anheuser. Absolutely incredible disc. And also, like I said, probably the most comfortable hand feel for me. Um, definitely recommending these. Go check them out, Cosmic Fury 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Stay swanky.